Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how Load Balancing as a Service, or LBAS, works by adding a group of web servers to a load balancer pool in OpenStack. Note that the web servers have already been provisioned and have unique home pages so that we can tell them apart. Let's get started. First, we take stock of our instances and their networking information with the following commands Nova List. Neutron subnet dash list and neutron net dash list. Next, we create a router with the router type flag set to exclusive, which is a special setting to inform VMware NSX to deploy an edge router configured for the LBAS feature. We run the following command neutron router dash create dash dash router underscore type equals exclusive. LBAS underscore router. Let's set our router's gateway to our external provider network so that our instances can communicate with the outside world. We use the Neutron CLI to set the gateway. Neutron router dash gateway dash set LBAS underscore router XNet. And then to add a router interface on the instance virtual network. Neutron router dash interface dash add LBAS underscore router demo dash subnet. We will now create the load balancer pool that our web front end servers will belong to. We will use the round robin load balancing method so that each server will get an equal number of views. We run the following command neutron lb dash pool dash create dash dash lb dash method round underscore robin dash dash name demo dash pool dash dash protocol http dash dash subnet dash id copy and paste your subnet id here before moving forward let us confirm the creation of our load balancing pool with the following command neutron lb dash pool dash list let us display the ip information for our web servers again we use the Nova list command again to do this. We'll add our first two web servers to the load balancer pool. First, we add the web one instance with the following command neutron lb member create address 192.168.0.21 dash dash protocol dash port 80 demo dash pool. Then we add web two. Neutron LB dash member dash create dash dash address 192.168.0.22 dash dash protocol dash port 80 demo dash pool. We also need to create a health monitor to verify that our application is properly running on the members of the load balancer pool. The health monitor will check the servers for the HTTP protocol on port 80. We run the following command neutron lb dash health monitor dash create dash dash delay 60 dash dash type http dash dash max dash retries one dash dash timeout 30. And we associate the health monitor with a load balancer pool with the following syntax neutron lb dash health monitor dash associate Copy and paste the health monitor's ID, then put the name of the load balancer pool, demo dash pool. The last step in the load balancer creation process is to assign a virtual IP for end users to access our application. We run the following command neutron lb dash vip dash create. Copy and paste your subnet ID here. The virtual IP is created but it belongs to the private tenant network. We will need to associate a floating IP address from the external network with our load balancer's virtual IP so that end users can access our application. First, let's allocate a floating IP using the following command, neutron floating IP dash create XNet. Then we get the ID of the neutron port that was created for the load balancer virtual IP. We run the neutron port dash list command. The last step will be to associate the floating IP object's ID 
with the Neutron port ID of the virtual IP with the following command. Neutron floating IP dash associate. Copy and paste the floating IP ID, then the load balancer VIP port ID. The floating IP is now associated with our load balancer virtual IP. Let us try to access our application. We open a new web browser tab and enter our floating IP address. If we refresh the page a few times, we can see that the home page content changes. Now let us see how we can expand user capacity. We can simply add another web server to the load balancer pool to handle increased user demand. Let us switch back to the command line and add the third web server to the pool. We get Web3's IP address using the NovaList command. Then, we add the server to the load balancer pool with the following command, neutron lb dash member dash create dash dash address 192.168.0.23 dash dash protocol dash port 80 demo dash pool. We get confirmation that our third server was added. Now, let's head back over to the web browser to verify the web server is active in the pool. We refresh the web browser a few times, and we see that we have three different responses now. This concludes the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. Thank you.